my name is Dave, uh, I'm a nursing student. Hello, my name is Dave, I'm a nursing student. Hello, my name is Dave, I'm a nursing student. I'm sorry, I'd love to learn more about you and living with Alzheimer's, but I've got this mandatory meeting I got over there somewhere. So anyways, I, I came across this patient who was very angry and uh, showed many signs of aggression. I asked him calmly if he'd like to spend some quiet time in his room or the isolation room. To which he replied, would you like to be punched in the face or punched in the gut? To which I replied, is that a rhetorical question? To which he replied, I'm confused. To which I replied, how does that make you feel? To which he replied, I don't know. I'm using silence, providing eye contact and nodding slightly as to express interest and concern. He continues, I guess I feel like, how do I explain this? I guess I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm at risk for decreased mental status related to pro prolonged hospitalization. To which I reply, what are your outcomes for today, sir? To which he replies, I, I guess I want to be oriented to person, place, time, and circumstance by end of shift. To which I think to myself, it's moments like this I'm glad I went to nursing school. So uh, anyways, we continue to chat. Where we talk and we talk and we talk all day. I talk even though I got nothing more to say. I don't believe I've checked the time since forever ago. And I was surprised to find out I got seven more hours to go. All kinds of time. When it comes to mental illness, it's all about perspective. You just have to fit in with the uh, general collective. If you have auditory hallucinations, this is what you should do. It would take but a sec. Wear a hands-free headset, then you will go from crazy person to business exec. Should you have a rational paranoia, this is what you should try. Be a news media mogul, then you can tell people how they might die. If you're diagnosed with neologisms and clang associations, don't be upset, show no trepidations. You may sound like, I sizzle a trizzle a gizzle rizzle. What I hear is a platinum rap album, I bizzle. Should you have disorganized schizophrenia and bipolar type 2, this is what you should do. You should probably take your medications and follow the treatment plan and have a chat with me so that we can talk and we talk and we talk all day we talk even though I got nothing more to say I don't believe I've checked the time since forever ago and I was surprised to find out I got five more hours to go all kinds of time it's like time's going backwards so here are some more non-therapeutic things to say. Non-therapeutic, mind you. My name is Agent David from the FBI. I need to ask you some questions. <laughs> My name is, uh, well I got this, I got this paper I have to do, uh, so could you start hallucinating or something? No? Well I got this manic patient down the hall then, I'm gonna go talk to them, they look like IPR gold. No, no, my area code is 910. Hmm. On the other hand, taking you home would make a nice souvenir. <laughs> Why, yes, I'd love to dance. Do you know the dyskinesia tango? <laughs> I agree that you and that bipolar guy down the hall would make an adorable couple. You finish each other's sentences, even if you both have associative looseness. So I came across this uh, client who uh, used to be a nurse, and I just couldn't help but be concerned about this head of mine. But the voices tell me that I will be fine. And we talk and we talk and we talk all day. The voices tell me that I'll be okay. They ask me if I've checked the time because it's been forever ago. And we were surprised to find out we still got a couple more hours to go. So I find a person with multiple personality disorder. And we talk and we talk and we talk all day. We talk until all eight personalities have nothing more to say. I don't believe I've checked the time since forever ago. And I was surprised to find out I still got half an hour to go. So I seriously have nothing more to say. 
So I people watch for the rest of the day But it's 3.30, they, they unlock the doors, we are finally free Now to spend the next six hours enslaved To my CLT CLT It's funny because it's true Maybe I'll admit myself Sounds like a vacation of sorts.